Welcome back to my channel. As Halloween draws near, I thought we'd stick to the spooky vibes. Last time, we unearthed the unsettling truth about never truly being alone on our sofas. And today, we're diving into another eerie discovery. Believe it or not, every single day, you're surrounded by minuscule, wriggling worms. And I'm not just talking about the great outdoors. These little critters are chilling in your living space, and some might even be lurking in your food. Sounds wild, right? But bear with me. Together, we'll gather samples from all over the place and then inspect them for these hidden worms. Ready for another thrilling investigation? Let's get started. On a stroll through the woods, I grabbed our first sample. From there, I scooped up a bit from a roadside puddle. Noticed a patch of moss in a crack? Sampled that too. Back home, I took some soil from my young fig tree on the balcony and didn't forget about the indoor plant either. Lastly, I'm curious about our daily veggies, so I peeled a potato. Let's see what each of these hides in terms of tiny wrigglers, shall we? Okay, so I've placed each of our six collected samples into Petri dishes and added some distilled water. Now prepare yourselves, because I'm about to prove that when it comes to these worms, there's simply no escape. Alright, let's kick things off with our forest sample. And bingo! There we have one. Even though these wrigglers, scientifically known as nematodes, might send shivers down your spine, they're crucial for the forest's soil health. They play a vital role in breaking down organic materials, like deceased plants and remnants of animals. When nematodes munch on organic material, they assimilate its nutrients. Post-digestion, they release these nutrients, making other essential nutrients more accessible for plants to absorb. Essentially, they're the unsung heroes increasing the soil's nutrient availability. Oh, and this guy seems to be quite the knot expert too. On to the puddle sample. Now, you might be surprised to hear that puddles are like mini-concerts for a multitude of nematodes. You see, these little wrigglers typically reside in the soil underneath, but a splash of rain can sweep them right up into our puddle party. And here's the kicker. Even if our puddle decides to dry up and vanish, these nematodes don't just call it quits. Nope, they have a backup plan. They enter a sort of snooze mode, dramatically slowing down their metabolism and essentially hitting the pause button on their usual wriggly antics. In short, they're true, though admittedly odd-looking, survival wizards. Moving on to our sample from that street crack, what do we find? Yep, a bunch of nematodes, all huddled up on some moss. Told you, they're everywhere. Nematodes are marvels of diversity. Over 20,000 species have been documented, but estimations suggest that there might be up to a million distinct species out there. It's truly staggering to consider. Here's a thought to ponder. Did you know that some of our genes bear a resemblance to those of these worms? Quite the surprising family connection, isn't it? Their genetic significance places nematodes in the spotlight of biological research. Specifically, the nematode C. elegans shares genes similar to those in our human genome. They proudly claim the title as the first multicellular organisms to have their entire genome mapped out. Such research delves deep into the understanding of cellular functions, the development of diseases, and potentially uncovering the secrets to a longer, healthier life. So, while they may seem insignificant, these worms are vital players in the vast realm of science. Moving gradually from the great outdoors into our own living spaces, 
It's soon clear that these worms don't believe in boundaries. Take a look at this sample straight off the balcony. See what I mean? These guys are everywhere, even at home. Now, this little guy right here, he's quite a bit tinier than the moss-loving fellow we saw earlier. Most of the nematodes taking up real estate in our soil are so micro. You'd be surprised by the sheer numbers that could be hiding in a mere handful of dirt. While many nematodes are tiny, some are genuinely jaw-dropping. Have you heard of the Placentonema gigantissima? This parasitic nematode clings to the placenta of sperm whales, and it can grow up to a whopping 8 meters. That's right, 8 meters. Makes me really thankful I wasn't born as a sperm whale. Dodge that long wriggly bullet. Even though I value their ecological role, I must admit, I'm not exactly thrilled about worms residing in my living room, especially in the soil of my houseplants. But hold on a second before making up your mind about them. Nematodes might just be the secret allies of our indoor plants. Have you dealt with fungus gnats in your pots? They lay their eggs in the soil and their larvae harm the plant roots, affecting water and nutrient uptake. However, there's a solution. Specific nematodes prey on those gnat larvae. As a result, the larvae are controlled and your plants can thrive. So, maybe these little wormy wonders aren't so bad after all. All right. Lastly, let's peek at the sample from the potato peels. I can almost hear you thinking, please, no worms here. But brace yourselves, because it seems your prayers went unanswered. Yep, I found nematodes on the veggies too. But before you swear off potatoes forever, here's the deal. These nematodes are totally harmless. They're not really living in the potato skin, they're more like chilling on it. Often, when potatoes are harvested, a bit of soil clings to them, and that's where these little wrigglers reside. So, just give your potatoes and veggies a good rinse before using, and you won't have to worry about any unexpected wormy guests in your meal. And just like that, we've reached the end of our wormy journey. The idea of being surrounded by countless tiny worms might make your skin crawl a bit. But as we've seen, nematodes can be quite the little helpers in our world. Always look on the bright side, right? If you enjoyed our trip through this micro-universe, please give this video a thumbs up and consider clicking that subscribe button. Thanks for joining and see you soon.